Hello, welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. You know already how to use the selection tools to delete areas, but in some cases, like the one on the screen, you may bring objects which come from long range scan data, and normally they are buildings or rooms, like the one I loaded on the screen. And due to the technology, you sometimes get a sparse points floating around the space and we are going to show you another tool that you can use effectively in your editing um, scan data. What we need to do is just press the button on the toolbar Edit Scan and together with the selection tools which you already learned in the previous tutorial there is another option which is called Clipping Box. The Clipping Box creates one big um, box around the um, visible areas of the scan data and you can see on the screen there are eight, um, six handles that you can use for manipulating the bounding box. How you can do, just hover over the arrow and then you just start dragging. And this actually will make the visual not to draw these points. At this moment, all we do is just the defining these clipping planes that OpenGL will not draw the point. So you can see nicely and you can select the area of your interest. So once you're happy with this, there are a few things that you can do. The first one is you can just press accept button and the software automatically will hide everything that is outside of the box. I'm saying this again, it will not delete them, but just temporarily hide them this works like what we call so far isolate, which means that what you see on the screen stays visible and then you can do some work. What I can do here, for example, just show all hidden triangles here and you see it turns back to what we did before. Another option that you can do with the clipping box is when you just uh, clip your areas, something like this one on the screen. What you can do now is uh, actually ask the software to delete the non-visible. This is, if you have a huge data set, this is a good way to um, filter out your points. For example, here, if I just press show, nothing happens. But if I press undo, this will just bring back the um, points that have been deleted. I will just unselect everything for now. And there is a third option here that sometimes I personally also like to make sure that you keep the original data is the following. I just select the area of my interest, for example, here. And what I can do in this case is just press create a new object. This technically created a completely new mesh, which is another entity while keeping the original one into the memory. And in this way, you can split your project into different um, sub meshes or regions where you need to focus and perform your reverse engineering tasks. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.